Hi everybody, on this screencast of Total OS today I wanted to take a look at the new Linux Mint 10 Julia. This was released actually about a month ago. I'm just getting around to taking a look at it now and doing a uh, quick review. I have it uh, installed here on my computer. Uh, I downloaded the uh, DVD version of it. I guess the DVD version has some extra software and codecs installed versus the uh, CD version. I think there's a maybe 200 megabyte difference I believe between the CD and DVD version. Anyway what I have here is the DVD version of Linux Mint 10. Alright this is the main screen here and you know of course when you boot up to the main screen you are um, greeted with this uh, welcome screen welcome to Linux Mint you have here uh, new features, problems, user guide, tutorials, forums, chat room, sponsors, and so on and so forth. Uh, if you click this here, you can choose whether to have this show at uh, have the dialogue show at the startup or not. Right now, I'm just going to unclick it. If we click new features here, this will give you a uh, brief um, overview of what's new with. Uh, Linux Mint 10. Anyway, uh, Linux Mint 10 is based on Ubuntu 10.10. Uh, uh, Julia, of, of course. What I've noticed off the bat here is the new um, theme. Let me just close this out here. This is new wallpaper. This metallic sheen here I think uh, looks uh, pretty nice. Uh, over the years they've really used, uh, I think it's called a Shia. Uh, theme green theme you know of course which it is uh, uh, unique to uh, Linux Mint 10 but this uh, really Mac style I guess uh, type of uh, wallpaper I think it looks uh, great if we look down here of course we have the time volume settings here this is the uh, software that I use to record record my desktop my internet <clears throat> and of course the update manager okay let's take a look at the menu here again you have this metallic uh, silver theme here which looks pretty nice of course you have your places system and applications this has not changed the icons look new and I kinda like this and of course here's the top right you can switch to how the mint menu look looks between the applications and the uh, favorites. I usually have a default set to this, to the favorites here. Um, let's take a look at the rhythm box. Let me uh, unclick or exit out of the update manager. Uh, and uh, one thing I have noticed uh, here as it was in the previous Mint release, the Ubuntu One music store is not installed. Uh, that may or may not be an issue or problem with Linux users. Um, as a Windows user, it would have been nice to have it in the current release of Rhythmbox and Linux Mint 10, but it's not necessarily a deal breaker for me. And if I click the uh, icon, the sound icon here at the bottom right, of course, you have your uh, playback settings, play, previous, and forward. Uh, this is a nice feature, which of course was released in U Ubuntu 10. 10. Let me get out of this. Click menu again. One thing I noticed here, which I like, is a uh, the search also allows you not to search necessarily just for installed software, but searching the repositories for any new software that you are looking for. Let me just type in, say, oh, let's say I'm looking for a music player called Juke, J-U-K. And if you look to the right, it'll say search for Juke, search Wikipedia for Juke, look up Juke in Dictionary. Let's say I wanted to install Juke. And apparently there are three uh, pieces of software with Juke. There is install Jujuke, install package J-U-K Juke, and install package J-U-K-E. Oh, I don't know. Let's try Jujuke. Let's install package Jujuke. Install additional software. Install. It'll search the repositories. 
downloading package files. Again, this is a nice little shortcut without having to go into the package manager here and installing it that way. So we'll just let this install. And apparently Judge Uke is a fairly large file. Okay, we'll just let it install here. It looks like it'll be done in three minutes. Let's right click and uh, let's see what other desktop backgrounds that we have. It looks like they left a lot of the green themes in here or green backgrounds. Scrolling down real quick. Uh, what do we have here? Anything? Uh, let's try this dark one here and uh, see what happens. Well, that looks kind of cool. Looks like a shiny broken glass, broken mirror look. They left some green in there, but again, it looks like in this one they're looking for the silver metallic theme, which personally, I think it looks great. Of course, this is Mozilla Firefox, the default web browser for Linux Mint and Ubuntu. This is the new features page, listing all the new features, which you can take a look at. I won't go through all these here. Okay, let me exit out of this. Let's see what else we have. Click Menu. Click favorites here. This looks pretty much the same. The the, the new icons look nice. Um, if you go down here. This has a lot of software installed. Uh, maybe more than what you would need. Scrolling down here really quick. I don't see anything new per se or anything unusual. VLC. VLC is my uh, favorite music player, media player for both uh, Windows and Linux. And when you download the uh, DVD version of Linux Mint 10, VLC is included. So my advice, if you're going to try Linux Mint 10 or do the upgrade, I would download the DVD version of Linux Mint 10. So definitely check out VLC if you haven't already. Great piece of media software. All right, let me exit out of that. We got another 35 seconds for Jajuk to install. Let's right click, click again. Take a look at themes, and they have left some of the they have left some of the green themes in there. All right, we'll just leave that as is. Visual effects, of course, none, normal, extra, and customization. This is the same as Ubuntu 10.10. .10. Overall, the look and feel of Linux Mint really is definitely a step up than the previous one. This is really one of my uh, favorite pieces of Linux software for uh, Windows users. Very easy to use. I've had very few problems with Linux Mint. Uh, for whatever reason, I've had actually less problems with Linux Mint than I have with Ubuntu. Okay. All right. Right now it is installing the software Jajuk again from the search bar here. I was able to search and install Jajuk or any new software versus going into the Synaptic package manager. And of course, you can't have two uh, applications of of the same software running at the same time. So I'll click close. We'll let this install. Almost done. This really does look nice. Differentiating itself. Of course, the Mint menu is exclusive to Linux Mint as opposed to using Ubuntu, but Ubuntu looks nice also. Almost finished installing the new software. I did notice that in Linux Mint, the buttons are on the right here. Minimize, max, and close versus Ubuntu having it on the left. Uh, me being right-handed, I prefer to having it on the right. Of course, in, U in Ubuntu, that can easily be changed from left to right and vice versa. 
okay the software has been installed let's go to the menu and let's try sound and video and if you can see here the newly installed software has been highlighted which is nice this is a nice feature similar to Windows so Jajuk which was not installed by default is now installed in Linux Mint quick start here I'll just click later Jajuk advanced jukebox and there you have it this is one way to install a new piece of software using the search bar at the bottom in Linux Mint 10 versus the using the Synaptic Package Manager which I'm sure works just as well anyway I like how Linux Mint 10 looks it is a step in the right direction and uh, I definitely recommend Linux Mint uh, if you have not, if not already tried it if you are a Windows user try this as your first uh, exposure to Linux. Uh, I would also consider Ubuntu and Zorin OS 3. Okay, well that's it. This is my quick look at Linux Mint 10 Julia DVD edition. Again, another winner from the Linux Mint team. Great job. As always, looking forward to the next releases of Linux Mint. That's it guys. Have a good one and I'll catch you later.